6 Reasons Why Jonathan Galindo Is Super Bad For Roblox Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. And comment down below saying I subscribe to enter this month's shoutout giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Game Frenzy. Number 1. What is it? The Blue Whale Challenge is a game where people are given different challenges that last for 50 days. People will sign up for it, barely ever have the option of backing out. The tasks are given to the people, especially to the youth, are extremely dangerous, as they can be asked to harm themselves. This makes people feel horrible because innumerable children have lost their lives to this challenge. This game has made everything very uncertain. Nobody knows who is going to give in and kill themselves and when. Number 2. Jonathan Galindo Recently, it has been noted that the person named Jonathan and Galindo is going around the Roblox community. He is targeting children and is trying to involve them in his bizarre challenge. Therefore, it is essential to be aware of him. His profile picture is extremely creepy with a cat wearing a hat, so you must remain careful. Moreover, there is a high possibility that more than one person is involved in this. There can be thousands of people out there who are trying to manipulate people into this. It is shocking how people partake in such life-threatening challenges where these people threaten them. They tell innocent kids that they have their personal information, which they can use to harm them if they do not complete the challenge. Not only this, but they also threaten their family and friends and involve them in the challenge as well. Number 3. Children fall into the trap Children being naive fall for the trap and never inform anyone about this and simply lose their lives. Kids take this huge step because they are scared because of multiple reasons. Firstly, they are scared that their personal information will be leaked and used for some wrong purpose. Secondly, they are afraid of telling this to their parents because they think that the family will blame them for getting everyone into trouble. Thirdly, blue whales make kids extremely vulnerable and destroy their psychological well-being due to the only solution they think they have is to follow what they're told. Number 4. Essex School Hence, we need to understand how important it is to inform someone about it. They keep approaching people until someone talks to them. Nothing is going to change unless we report this behavior. Moreover, only a few news channels are covering this extremely disappointing news. It is the responsibility of all the news channels to cover this news and make people aware that this is happening just like Essex Live did. Essex School was issued a warning letter to their students and the staff after they got to know about the horrifying rumors about the online game. They were all made aware of the Blue Whale game and that a lot of children are getting suicidal. Fortunately, no one from the school was involved in the game. When the cause of the spread of rumors was inquired, it was found that a group of students was having a chat on Instagram when a stranger hacked their chat and tried to talk to the children. Thankfully, students were aware of the online challenge and they shut down the chat immediately. Number 5. It is beyond Roblox This challenge goes beyond the Roblox, so it is essential to make parents, teachers, and everyone else aware of the challenge so they can keep an eye on their kids as the internet is a very important part of their lives. Parents should sit with their kids when they use the internet so they could be there if something comes up. Luckily, no one was harmed from the Essex school, but the threat persists. If a person gets involved in the challenge, they will manipulate him or her to engage in self-harm or act of violence, which is extremely dangerous. A close eye should be kept on kids who are more vulnerable than others, so that you can protect them if they get involved by any chance. Number 6. Conclusion So, the best way to be safe is that if you see the reference of Blue Whale anywhere, block and delete it immediately, in case parents see it first before the children, so that they should warn their children in a calm way to not get involved in this and to feel free to talk about it if they see such thing on the internet. Also, if due to any reason you engage and if they threaten you, make sure that you report them immediately. You can tell your parents, teachers, police, reporters, or you can report it on the internet. Everyone needs to keep their eyes open as anyone could be in danger at any time. Furthermore, parents and teachers should improve their relationship with the children so they feel comfortable and, and share their problems without any hesitations. Regardless of the uncertainty that we cannot control, we have to try to do every possible thing we can to stop young kids from harming themselves. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.